Hello everyone, this is the latest Scorpion King podcast, we are now on Scorpion King 4, a quest for power, which I thought was Nintendo magazine, <laughs> and I'm here with Hamish, who's reminded me to introduce him. <laughs> <laughs> Giving him a wee signal there, hi everyone. And Dom. How are you guys? Yeah, we, we're doing that. We sorry, who, who are you? And I'm Hugh. Sorry, <laughs> uh, we got feedback saying that um, the one time we didn't do that properly was annoying because we cut in like halfway through a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, well yeah. the other part of the sentence wasn't worth listening to. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't to that episode. <laughs> or all the rambling before it. Like, I had to look through that, all that stuff. I was editing that one and I was just like, I don't even know where to start with all this shit. <laughs> just, just sitting just holding your head. Click a random button, like, that, that'll have to do. <laughs> right, okay. Scorpion King 4 A Quest for Power These names are all terrible by the oh, way Oh, yeah, so bad, isn't it? Right <laughs> I'm going to go to Hamish first He looks down to say Give us your thoughts on this film first, Hamish Overall thoughts? No, no, just the beginning Just the beginning of the film Let's, 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 let's do it chronologically What I liked was The first thing that you saw was a scorpion And I think that's the first, like Apart from the odd wee Magical scorpion that kills people Yeah but, You know, at least we're getting to know it's letting people know by the way this is a Scorpion King film so people can <laughs> set their expectations low yeah. you know, put that like, bar on the ground don't pick that up yeah <laughs> like even you know, maybe dig a wee bit and then put the bar a wee bit lower <laughs> but what happened to that Scorpion Hamish? R- remind me it got stepped well, on well my it? first note is lol dead Scorpion uh-huh. because Don the Dragon Wilson <laughs> stepped on it like the start of this for like an old school MMA geek like ourselves right the start of this was just like like double take after double take after double because I was like what the fuck what the fuck yeah when you when you showed me your notes like you screenshot them put it in the chat <laughs> I was like fuck is that Don the Dragon Wilson fuck is that Roy Nelson fuck is that Hoist Gracie <laughs> fuck is that Bigfoot so, like I thought they were just all like the UFC roster at that time was just they gonna start coming out of that tent yeah, <laughs> like one yeah. after the other I was surprised that they all they were all right in at the start I know yeah. they were, were kind of like there was also some wee appearances later on and even in like the end credits and stuff like that mm-hmm. did you see the, the end credits yeah. Yeah. yeah which was weird that fell out of place for this but yeah. oh, was was Rigno? Part, sorry we missed Lou Ferrigno yeah no, 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 he was, was at the start like the like, uh, first 12 minutes of this movie was just like it was weird like I've got to hear it's like there's a not a lot of stabbing from a bunch of guys with swords there was like they didn't really stab, and then there was like what the what this called? There was a lot of crotch shots in this movie as well, much more of a comedy. Like yeah, intro, there was I was like, all yeah. oh, right, it's a bit more. Like, they're taking the piss and having yeah, fun. Yeah, I wrote fight scenes are cheesier and funnier, yeah. like more enjoyable. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's not like see the thing is with action scenes and fighting scenes, if you want to take it seriously, it needs to be well choreographed. And mm. but if you're not really caring, or if you know you're just a bullshit comedy, then it's it's a lot easier. So the start of this film is, uh, we'll summarise that a wee bit, uh, Scorpion appears, he gets stepped on, Yeah. You're like shit, and then some wee guy comes along, uh, I can't remember the guy's name because all the names in these films are ridiculous. Yeah. Dragged, dragged by a horse. Aye, English guy, oh, right, okay, uh, it's, yeah. a, it's an English villain, mm-hmm. with weirdly spiky hair for the Middle East thousands of years ago. Mm. Oh well, no, because he had his hair long and he'd not get a haircut. Yeah, I thought he was, he was friend from the last yeah. film, but yeah, he's, he's obviously not... Um, yeah. This is the deal, Scorpion King, and you're like, what? <laughs> They're going into some <clears throat> king's palace to steal some urn. Yeah, some trinket. Yeah, uh-huh. Some trinket, some MacGuffin. Uh, but oh no, the Scorpion King gets double crossed by ah. his friend. But see, even before that, and you know what, this actually like gave me a wee glimmer of hope. They see the room at the end of the corridor, oh. and then there's all the traps and stuff like oh that. Oh my god. And some of that, like was quite funny yeah when they were like dancing. Know, dancing and stuff like yeah. that but that's EG man I, I mean <laughs> yeah I, warning bells I think I even said to you is like I seen the trailer for it uh, for the last one I was like oh that CG's gonna be rough oh man oh that was really rough the the, the actors were lit completely differently than the rest <laughs> of this because I was looking at it and I was like that's all of this is green screen obviously yeah, yeah why does this look so off though that thing you're like why is it like it's so distracting it's like a YouTube video when someone does green screen you're like oh what the fuck yeah yeah. but I mean like funny though yeah it was at, like I genuinely actually kind of thought like <laughs> maybe this will be okay yeah <laughs> like, maybe maybe well, maybe, maybe it will be the know. okay of the genuine variety <laughs> <laughs> I actually quite uh, the guy who plays Matthias the Scorpion King. He actually has grown on me in this movie. He's, he mm-hmm. he was a lot better. Yeah, he I don't was, know if it was you know just from the time of being an actor or second time in the role, but he definitely improved. 
Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Right. I agree. He was a bit more believable as a a hero. So did you just like the fight scene with the UFC fighters? Ah, uh, it was all right, but like they had swords. They've got swords, and yeah, they're just knocking people out and stuff yeah. like that, and then getting punched in the dick, yeah. getting kicked in the ass. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's, There's a lot of like, woohoo, check this out. They could have, you know, you could have been like, slit your throat, stab you in the stomach. No, yeah. no, just like, hey, let's just dick about for a wee bit. You then know, Big Lou Ferrigno coming in. Just, yeah, that fight scene was weird. But obviously, he's, he's, he can't move as well as the other guys. And he just, he just kind of looked a bit off balance. And then I was like, oh, slapstick, fall yeah. down. And yeah. I was like, ah, oh, there we go. That's there it. Is. <laughs> and, you know, he was, while we're on the subject of Lou Ferrigno, he was barely in the film. But like, I think that was it, wasn't he? I you like see him. him. You see him like clapping at the end. Yeah. Oh, right, and, okay. and that's it. But it's like he was like the main character on the poster. Yeah. Like, he's obviously cool. just like you know trying to cash in on like oh he's in this film. And he's collecting like, his check. Right. Technically, in the two, two minutes. But, technically, he was it though. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only time I've ever seen Hoist Gracie like actually put anyone over man. Like, <laughs> like guy guy never looks happy about fighting anybody. But uh, like, so ten minute betrayal. That's what I had. Like ten minutes in, you're like oh there's the first betrayal. <laughs> but yeah. you could you could tell that immediately. Oh yeah. Like. The old, uh, oh, this gives you know people power, and then the wee guy, I think Dra- Drazen is his name. Dra- yeah, Drazen, like Drazen, Drazen, Drazen. Drazen yeah. We can't have got him written down uh, here. <laughs> we but when, when he's like, oh, but we could keep that power for ourselves. It's like, okay, he's he's obviously wanting that. Like he's he must have seen a lot of this yeah. uh, himself <laughs> in this guy. So how like this guy? Right, if I that's, was him, that's what I would do. I would take it off him and steal it for myself. Yeah, I mean that's a conversation for a different time, but like <laughs> that's the smart thing to do. But yeah, right. Yeah. The next scenes are we go to see probably the next actor cashing in big in this is Rutger Hauer. Mm, mm, yeah. yeah, he's the the king. But this is still the Middle East or something, right? <laughs> something. That was a English country house, his castle. <laughs> yeah, I was mm. like going, where the fuck are we? <laughs> it turns out it's in, like so. It's in Romania. Like, a lot of the places shot in this movie and in the previous movie was in Romania. No, oh, right. Okay. And that makes sense because it seems like it's like you're in the desert and then suddenly you're in the forest, then you're in, like, an English country. Yeah. I was like, this is all over the place. Where the fuck are we? So Where Romania. and when are we? Yeah, when, I, <laughs> when are we? Yeah. I did like the fact that it was, like, giving him, he's like, you need to go and, you know, stop this. And he was like, I will not go. And the next scene is him going. <laughs> he's just like... Yeah, no, not even any kind of convincing. It was yeah. just like... Uh, if you want peace, I'm not the man to send. And I was like, no, you're going to go. And then he's just, there he is on his wee camel. That guy was, was, was in Blade Runner, mate. You listen to him. <laughs> Do you know what's really jarring? you seen the camel riding through a forest. Yeah. Uh, I had that written down going like, oh, I don't know. This is me. It's not CG written. So there was a camel just like running through a rainforest. I'm like, this is, this is really He odd. didn't speak to the camel this time. He didn't. The camel didn't like... See, when I saw the camel i was like oh maybe we're gonna get some camel backstory like <laughs> we're gonna find out how this camel is so fucking magical and yeah and the, like the original scorpion king you can fucking talk to it and understand it but no no nah. this is set way after that isn't it yeah this yeah. is uh, this, yeah. which is a mental yeah. like it's a completely different feeling that there's no there's no <laughs> like link between that first scorpion king film and any others like in any way it's except when guys go oh you're the scorpion king <laughs> One, he doesn't even like being called that he's, nasty. he's like huh, don't call me that one uh, wee detail that I liked though was like later on and he's mentioning like the god of war the god of love you know all these different gods like mm-hmm. Egyptians would have whereas you know the lassie was saying we have one god like at least they remembered yeah he's not from here yeah because yeah. you know, they mentioned about it, it was like what kind of creature is that and like, that's a giraffe I think that was from Seth Rogen Jonah Hill because <laughs> yeah, yeah. he had a laugh like Seth Rogen but he looked like Jonah Hill it was really disturbing that like that guy was weird through the whole film I was looking at him going that's the big tough guard guy they've yeah. got I was like please kill him <laughs> just get rid of him right did, away did Rutger Hill look green screened in he was like he wasn't actually in the scene with anybody he just kind of looked off as well I don't know if it's obviously like cheap lighting and stuff like that but mm. every time I looked at him I was like he's not there yeah it's felt a bit like odd he was shot kind of rem- it looked like it was remotely and then anything else maybe it could be like oh just put a stunt double there and just have him uh, there like a body double could be the case he looked a bit kind of lighter mm-hmm. like it was more light on him but it could just be his pale old man skin like, <laughs> yeah they'll hit you just right yeah or that's in his contract like all the lights on me like kind of thing I don't know but I mean it was just a a device wasn't he anyway just to like go and 
deliver this just to get us to the next place. Yeah, there was another name on the cast list to say, yeah. oh, Rutger Howell's in this. Yeah. Yeah, then you just notice that in these films, these kind of like uh, ones that might be set thousands of years ago, but they're cheap. Everyone's mm. weirdly clean. Yeah. Yeah. For, for a place that's never clean. Everyone's like, like pristine. Yeah. It's just, like, it just puts me off the film. It, put, uh, it reminds me of TV movies and stuff like that. Yeah. Sci fi, sci fi movies. Uh, like, very much like too clean to. It's been digitally enhanced or brightened. It was very colour. It was very colourful. Very mm. un Snyder. And they, obviously, <laughs> they just have loads of slaves that go around and dust all the rocks that they live in amongst me. <laughs> that, that's true, actually. I don't actually know where this film is actually set either because, like, there was so much. There was, like, Roman soldiers but there was also like Middle Eastern stuff and there was just like so much like different weird they were just going into the props department uh, at yeah. whatever yeah. studio and I just pay, take it whatever oh glad they are but that's yeah. like a theme that we've seen with the other films to be yeah. fair you know, yeah it's, it's like it's totally always been like that. yeah it's all over the place Dom, did you like the bar fight yeah I was just about to mention but Dom you said that the, the colours are actually bright in this film like mm. they put the colours up yeah. instead of the down in the last one yeah. but the bar fight was fucking hilarious yeah I was I it actually was ridiculous. Go properly laugh. and then it's the Pirates of the Caribbean music started playing like, yeah. do, 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 do. I'm like I had to stop it and rewind it I'm like is that, is that what I think it is <laughs> and I was like I'm pretty sure the, the composer was Klaus Badel who did the same music so ah, I think it's just ah, phoned it in that, like, uh, <laughs> I've, already, I've already done stuff change, change a couple of keys there we go instead of da 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 we go da 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 there we are <laughs> uh, I've wrote here uh, Dagger in the ass. I've got dagger in the ass. <laughs> dagger in the ass. <laughs> sorry, Dom, I left that there before you sat down. Oh, <laughs> man, sorry. Oh, that much. was a wild scene, bro. The only time anyone gets stabbed by any of the swords in these films, it was a fucking gratuitous dagger straight in, and, and they, they like, held on that guy man. screaming for ages. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, the music even stopped. That's not even funny. <laughs> this is like, that's painful, man. <laughs> like, oh, he did, I don't think he did it in that. He just walked around and they all like... Yeah, he did, He just sort of moved and everyone kind of fell into each other. Like It's like a computer game. Uh, like like Spider-Man when you're fighting like Rhino and you have to like jump out of the way and he just kind of walks out the way and they were running into like, the wall. Yeah, hit the yeah. wall. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. That's yeah. funny. And then like there was one guy just ran straight into a wall and I was like, wait, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> and then the guy ran up the stairs and did like a frog splash off the top. Yeah, and he just com- stepped back. I just <laughs> completely missed yeah, him. Yeah, didn't even kind of hit him. Yeah. That Seth Rogen uh, love child. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jonah Hill. That's just like, that was weird. That was hilarious. I was like, I that, that's funny. I was like, I beat you. And you're like, no. <laughs> he <Yeah>. kind of <laughs> went, just fucking take me to the king, man. I'm sick of this tomfoolery. <laughs> It was good though. I enjoyed it. The fight scene later on though, like after he's escaping and he picks up like a bearskin rug yeah. and he's like hitting yeah. people with a rug and then he like holds its head at someone and they get a fright. I was like, come on, that's, yeah. I can, you know, the hold my suspense a wee bit, but that's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Funniest part of this film for me is when the bad guy said man kettle. <laughs> uh, like the, the man kettle like oh who boils first the man or the, the, kettle. the kettle and I was yeah. just like someone wrote this someone like thought of man kettle and someone <laughs> like, probably thought it was a fucking great idea they were yeah. probably having writer's block and they were like I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then they burnt themselves on the kettle and were like oh, I've got it the fucking breakthrough that we need for this film <laughs> man kettle <laughs> what do you think about the sexy scorpion death with the king which oh. is like, he just ripped open his shirt like, ah, and there was scorpions how did, how did he not know there were scorpions yeah. under his shirt it took yeah. a while before he was just like signing the treaty to be like, oh no, it's scorpions. <laughs> yeah, I was like, where did they get all those scorpions? Yeah. Where, where did they get them all? Yeah. Scorp- and how did he not notice? How did he not feel but- scorpions crawling over him? And then just like, so- all of a sudden, scorpions? Just suddenly scorpions. They didn't even need to use scorpions. That's like too much, right? He could have just stabbed them. I went, he stabbed them. Yeah. Like, nah, oh. I think they were trying to be clever though, you know, they were trying to be like, even though it was blatantly obvious. As soon as you saw it, I was like, all right, so he's obviously doing that. So that he blames it on the Scorpion King. You killed your father. Ah, but look, the scorpions. And he's the Scorpion King. Who? Like, Who you, who's oh, that guy? Also, like, you guys brought me here. Did you check a bag of scorpions for me? Like, <laughs> he's a I got my, like, my carry on had loads of scorpions. Well, just be careful with that bag. <laughs> It's just like his special movie, just throw scorpions. <laughs> pocket sand, yeah, but scorpion. pocket scorpions. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, this is a scorpion king, it's not just random TV. Yeah, yeah. Like, but also, I mean, like, because it was his son, obviously, that killed him and got the scorpions. Like, where did he get the scorpions? This yeah. is true. Did he himself run out and just, because there was a lot of scorpions, it was. with a bag and catch them? Doesn't matter though, food fight. 
Like they started throwing yeah. grapes at everybody. <laughs> man, I'd noticed the grapes straight away. I was like, why is there so much fucking grapes on that thing? <laughs> yeah. It was a bunch, mate. <laughs> like, and do you notice the weird things with these songs? Because like, you know they're obviously not working with a massive budget, so mm. like, some things are just out of place. And you're just yeah. like, that's strange. Why is that there? Why is this King's Castle like tiny wee rooms? Yeah. But, yeah. And uh, see the castle as well. There's a bit where Matthias like throws someone out a window, but he kind of hits the wall and then goes over it, yeah. and you see the whole wall moving, and it just looks like <laughs> plastic. Like it's, it just looks so cheap. Oh no, like, that's not in this time period. We don't think. <laughs> also, Matthias meets uh, sexy jail girl, sexy abs lady. Yeah, ah, abs lady. Yeah, you mate, those she, abs, mate. You honest, love those abs, mate. Her diet must be on point in jail yeah. to get those abs. Yeah. Like, and not, not only that, she was she looked quite um, like tanned and. Waxed and like, 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 almost like she was preened to perfection before she went to the jail. Yeah, I like know. I was. Like, I don't believe this. Well, well she did say that. that you could get whatever you want. And the price, oh, I've got. It's just a price if you wanted for it. When she <laughs> had the wall conversations, and the scorpion king turned into a grass. He he's like, oh god <laughs> you're like oh hey. bitch oh, <laughs> bitch <laughs> Matthias <laughs> it was a bitch king move there, mate. Apparently, she. I can't remember the actress's name. Uh, Ellen Holman. Mm. She did like most of her own stunts. Which oh. obviously see when they're like rolling Later down on. the hill and stuff yeah. like that, and then see the the camera angles in some of this film. Was, yeah, they had a bit that, weird. Like, yeah, they had a GoPro kind of shot under yeah, the chin. Yeah, a lot of kind yeah. of a lot of kind of close ups and stuff like that, which again was totally different from the last film, which was on very just shaky cam and slow mo and stuff like that. Yeah. So it was it was not even really been like a semblance of this is the style that we're going through yeah it's you different know, directors it's, as well there's no piss ninjas in this one either no no that's true it's not it's coming out of the walls <laughs> <laughs> mate the escape scene was funny because he, he kept running through things and the sets were just falling apart around him yeah. everybody just punched the, the doctor out They just the doctor's like yeah I'm just trying to help and she went I fuck you and punched him and ran away yeah. I was like doctor was just doing his job just having a good time there wasn't a lot of sense like he also has no luck with women every film he, there's like new women and he's like ah she's dead now yeah, <laughs> or he's like, no, I've got to go somewhere. Uh, I need, the, the scorpions are calling me. <laughs> you just me, hear yeah. the wee pencils going. <laughs> I um, mean, it, it was kind of a not to spoil it, you know, because obviously everyone's dying to see it after our review. But like, he did have a, a happy ending with this one at the end. So. Yeah, he did actually. I but, was like, that was. I'm like, oh, when is is he, is, is he actually going to have a, a happy ending? Will the Scorpion King finally get but, his girl this time? I had to buy this. Oh, oh, or uh, Amazon because I, I did say somebody put it up but he just didn't need to be put it in so I was like fuck oh. it yeah, I, was, that, I was still walking home from work it point. doesn't matter anyway because I was just like oh, it's like three quid or something like yeah. that. I'll just buy it it means I see it in the best quality it means it's always on my Amazon if I ever want to watch it again oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just like after I was like oh, God, fuck it I'm going to go buy the fifth one now as well <laughs> like, like, I may as well have just bought the collection like even asked Sinead if she wanted to watch it with me and she was like god no like she was like no I'll I'll, I'll listen, I'll listen to your podcast about it she would be totally lost mate she's not seen the second or third one you know and these these films there's a lot of plot to keep up on I yeah. think I was lost during the films like <laughs> what are we doing again yeah. do you know the thing is like this was the only one of the Scorpion King movies that I didn't need to pause and have a break mm. this one actually felt like more like engaging compared to the other ones like for Scorpion King I did have to stop a few times because it was a bit uh, a bit wincy yeah. at some moments Scorpion King too fuck I stopped that so many times that was <laughs> yeah, that was rotten well. third one it was a couple of times that I was just like ah, I, I'm not really paying attention but this was the first one that I watched from start to finish going oh actually no I just Managed to watch all this. I mean, that's drags. quite high praise. Yeah, you know? like I'd you, say it was constant. Being able to watch a film all the way through it, like yeah. it's only the best films you can watch all the way through in one ten. Yeah, <laughs> only the best. <laughs> at least, at least six out of ten. Hope James Cameron's listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, I was watching this one as well. There was a weird like sense of. Um, I'd quite like to see more of this, <laughs> like yeah. in a TV, like a TV show format would be alright. But see, when I'm like, oh, we, we, we must be most of the way through this film now. But then I like hit the seek bar and it's like an hour and an hour forty film. I'm like, how much more story do we have? Mm, yeah. Like Right, so my next my next uh note is why is everyone in the Middle East pale? Mm. Like everyone is pale. Budgets, mate. Yeah, I know. Sunblock. <laughs> yeah. And then it's important. Crazy inventor dad. Yeah. <laughs> he was funny, man. He was he was a good character, I thought. That felt like a Disney film. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. where uh, I don't know. 
try to think. Of. Do you know what I went to? It was fucking uh, Sword in the Stone, but that's not in that's Merlin, fuck's yeah. sake. But like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, she would, somebody takes you back to the house and there's a guy with hundreds of gadgets and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was just like, like Tony Stark? Like a dog, uh, dog he, brown kind of, yeah. you know, like. He was dressed as a chicken. It was a guy from Spin City and stuff like that. Yeah, Barry Bostwick. Yeah, yeah. Barry, uh, saying that as he, he's looking at his cast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I said? Like, when he was, uh, he was inventing stuff and he was like, ah, magic doesn't exist. And I says, there's no magic. Then how did these movies get made then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we've seen four films of magic yeah, shit happening all sh- the way shenanigans through shenanigans and stuff and he's like oh magic doesn't exist and then the biggest thing that happened in this movie I was like I can't believe this is that the daughter goes outside and then all of a sudden she's kidnapped I'm yeah. like, how the fuck did they get sneak up no way that an army like that could sneak up in this teeny wee cottage that that's, army, that's magic yeah that yeah. army batman their way there it's just like you know how you like, turn away you turn back and he's yeah. like there and you're like fuck you fear gauge just up double takedowns are happening that and was I, one bit I, like, I went back and I was like I must have missed something happening so I went back a wee bit and I was like no they just, just all of a sudden just bang she's there like, right and captured. then they put them in the house to die and they set fire to the house I'm doing that in air quotes because this is the goddamn worst CGI fire I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yo, you need to remember the two like things that happened there when the guy slaps the lassie, just slap, and then oink oink was the words that I wrote here. Oh yeah, yeah. oink Aye. oink. So she calls him a pig, yeah. and then <laughs> says like a pig in a castle is still a pig, yeah. and then he slaps and goes. Wait, <laughs> 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 I forgot about that. Like, ah, did he actually say oink? Or I went, he went oink oink. Right. <laughs> he he was a brilliant and sufferable we bastards yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he hated them I think that's why I was they're like they're together by the way they're married because uh, I, I was like looking through the cast trying to see what have they been in before and stuff like that and like none of them are that well except for the Barry Boswicks and stuff like that but like yeah. these guys aren't that successful and I was like wait no kidding they're, they're married to each other I think they met during this film and right. married each other after Oh, well, lovely! There's so, like something good so, comes something from good this. It, yeah. Not for the yeah. Scorpion King, though. But you're right with the CGI, man. Like that, that fire. Was, oof. Also, just that old fucking trope of like, we're just going to tie you all to a chair, and, and then burn house. We, we're not going to stab you. We're not going to cut your heads off to make sure that you're fucking dead. We're just going to light the place and then walk out and just assume everything goes all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the, by the way, the MacGuffin is now a key. There's a key inside the wee statue thing at the yes. store at the beginning. Thanks the, for keeping us. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. It's the, important. The story is important. Aye. Let's, let's not oh, yeah. forget. The people are listening to this so they don't have to watch the film. And then the kid ran and stole the key while the guy was like basically trying to grad- gladiate the other place. He was like, are you not entertained? Did he not speaking to everybody? Ma- he, like that film went dark all of a sudden and that, like he started like just stabbing, the stabbing happened then. Yeah, all these people that he like didn't actually know the answer to any of his questions and yeah. then I was like, well. He's just stabbing folk yeah. and it gets real dark and he's stabbing folk, he's kicking old men in the face slashing and he's people. slashing people and all of a sudden <laughs> there's just uh, sexy women temple. Yeah. Yes. See, my my note for this one is uh, it should have been called the Scorpion Drag Queen. Because <laughs> obviously, to get into this sexy women temple, they have to dress up as women because guys aren't allowed. Did you like? Did you like the uh, Bad to the Bone rip off? Went na 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 na. They're all walking like that. Oh, it had a good female voice though. It got a wee bit, a wee bit weird. It's like, it, see, this one actually had a bit of more adult humor, mm-hmm. which you know appreciated because it's just nonsense anyway but it was a wee bit weird because obviously the kind of main women very busty very revealing clothes and stuff like that mm-hmm. and he, he went was, anime protagonist uh, he? he was a horny wee bastard and yeah, he made grab her uh, <laughs> it's alright I'll do that oh wait I mean he went yes, master yes, yes I'll do that <laughs> but I, I honestly thought that whole scene was really quite funny like, yeah I thought that was probably one of the best yeah. bits of the film that was, that was a laugh uh, the key goes in the the belly button of the women's statue. Yeah, so there's like a women's statue. They put it in the belly button (coughs) and nothing seems to happen. And then that's when Matthias goes, maybe it's another hole. No. (laughs) And he goes to the the wee woman that's with him, pure raging at his face. What? That was pretty funny. uh, The bad guy then knocks down the, the... like the wee cage thing that they're in. Yeah, so yeah. it starts going up because like steam from the bottom propels it up. Yeah, it's not magic. Science. It's not magic. It's no. yeah, science. science. And that was the kind of theme. Like everything that they were finding was like, no, it's not. You know the, it's not magic that's actually mm-hmm. doing anything. It's science. So because obviously they're on a quest to get the power from the sorcerer. 
Oh yeah, we forgot to say that because yeah. that that wasn't explained very well either. Was yeah, it, it was either? kind of rushed. To explain. Uh, it's like, like aha, and then because uh, the, the the elevator going up, you could see like the mountains. It's like oh, it's a way over there. We need to go over there. Aye, That's not very sciencey. Aye, for some reason Barry Boswick's character character can just figure out all these like he's things. He's a genius, that, mate. But they're not even like riddle. They're just like pictures. And he's like, no, nah, I know what this means. And you're like, how? It's a picture of a fucking mountain. He read the mm. script. Oh, right, that's true. <laughs> then, that you, ch- then the wee child gets hit, and I've got my notes here. Child hitting is always funny, says Hamish. Yeah, it is, actually. Yeah. I've wrote pretty cool girl fight, which was a total, like, like they went off to get some guy who had a map. Yeah, I've got the I've got this written, it's time. But it's time! Because yeah, <laughs> it was in an octagon kingdom. Is that yeah. Eve Torres? That was Eve Torres. I think, yeah, Eve it was Eve Torres. Torres. Yeah, it was Eve Torres, like, in the... Um, She's married to Hoyler Gracie, Gracie uh, and she was a... I say Hoyler. No, Hoyler's... She was a wrestler, wasn't she? Yeah, she was a wrestler in WWE. One of the Gracies, but, like, she was a wrestler, I... As you could tell by all the wrestling moves that were in this yeah. scene... But like I, th- I mentioned this to Hamish before this 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 film came out twenty fifteen and it was the height of Ronda Rousey mm. and like see when you saw the armbars the flying armbars and like mm. the, the the girl fight and it was kind of it was kind of like reminded me of like at that time women's fighting was getting way more respected because of like the stars yeah. and I was like oh oh flying armbar was the finish got you and then like, it was just weird like mm. there was a lot of back and forth and the, she was getting like he'd kicked in and then she'd look at Matthias and he's like. Come on! Uh, and she's like, like, like ah! gesturing to get up, and it's like, oh, thank, oh, that's all I needed. Like, no, I needed getting, a man to tell me how to do that. Uh, <laughs> get, get the shit kicked out of me, but I just need someone to kind of gesture with her hand, going slightly up, and then I'm reinvigorated. You know, yeah. so she, so she let one of the other the guy that's been helping her out at a prison, and then they meet him later on, like the yeah, guy with yeah. the big beard. So that's they were trying to get a map. He's like, oh, I know a guy, and then that's how the UFC well, yeah, had, had to fight for that. Yeah, see, so had the Bruce Buffer coming out. That'd be amazing. <laughs> that would have been fun, but it reminded me of. Uh, Oh, is it X Men One? The film where with the meet Wolverine and he's fighting in the cage. Yeah, I was like, cage, this yeah. looks way too like futuristic looking for like the past. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, very Mad Maxing. <laughs> actually, I would say yeah. very Mad Max. There was a couple of felt like a side quest. Yeah, a couple of cage fighting scenes in the X Men films because I think when you see Archangel and stuff like that. As yeah, well. yeah. But yeah, I love that. What I thought was just, I mean, that was quite a cool scene, quite a cool fight, but then. Like what Eve Torres gets her gets kicked in the face or something like that, and her tooth flies out mm. towards the camera, and then you hear it go like pink as if it's hitting the camera lens, and mm. it's like, what, oh, why did you put that in? Yeah. Like, it's funny though. It's to us, it's funny, but to them, it's like, wait, what is that device that you've just used? <laughs> what, <laughs> that What's that looking at us? Uh, I've also wrote hulking up because there was a moment she was. It looked like she was actually hulking up. Uh, like the Hulk. She, she was, was about like, the brother. Everybody, like, <laughs> I'm not doing the job, brother. <laughs> right, there's a part in film where like. After this, they get the map and they go to like a camp and they're sitting and they're talking and she's yeah. like, oh, so, so why do they call you the Scorpion King? Oh, yeah, and He's yeah. like, oh, I get hit with an arrow uh, with Scorpion Venom on it. And then she talks about the first film and Cassandra and stuff. And he's like, oh, and then she said I had the blood of the Scorpion. I was like, the fucking blood of the Scorpion. It was the venom of the Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> like, the just, like, the just, retcon that made. <laughs> <laughs> but the abuse is that venom's not blood, though. So they kind of corrected it. They held your complaints. No, but that's... That, like, mate, it, it's not blood. It's not got the blood of the scorpion. Blood is not venom. You got poisoned by a scorpion. I don't go out and get poisoned by a scorpion. And go. Ah, I've got the blood of the venom. But, uh, blood of the venom. Blood <laughs> of the venom. <laughs> blood of the scorpion. He's getting riled up. <laughs> I don't want, mate. It just is like that's the callback. We are doing that callback. The one that fucking annoyed me so much. No people's eyebrow. Just the venom. Oh no! This is where they got the forest, and then there's like the, the small people. The, the, the little people. Eye. We're keeping it. Keeping it short. Keep. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 was a total like. There's so many parts of this film. I was like, this could be cut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It did feel a wee bit longer than it should. But uh, yeah, yeah, that seems. Uh, right. Burping contest. I was just about to say. I think my, my next <laughs> note is burping lol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I looked at it like when we were just starting. I was like, what? What, the, what is that a note for? And then I, and then it all came coming Flooding back. back. Uh, so they're basically like kind of a. It's a sign for like their new friendship and mm-hmm. stuff like that and then they're all burping and then it comes to the, the lassies chance and she just does this tiny wee burp and everyone's kind of like Ugh. and then Matthias hits her on the back and she lets out like a bigger burp than any other guy there and it's like it's not how burps work like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's like a kids film at some point yeah, it? Like, uh, and, then, and then it wasn't a kids film at some yeah. point like the dark bits but uh, <laughs> they have to go to the, this mountain that's supposedly protected by a dragon obviously yeah. Mr Science Man doesn't believe that Mm. Until he sees it, and then this dragon that looks like if uh, oh my god, PS2 rendered dragon, 
Oh, uh, 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 that's Genesis PS One. <laughs> it, was, it was quite a bad looking dragon, wasn't it? And this is especially this is the time when Game of Thrones was out, like yeah. and like Drogon and stuff like that. Like people, are like, oh, that looks amazing. That dragon. This dragon, look, like I've wrote here, dragon looks like a PS Two Skyrim, like mm. dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was enough to convince Barry Bostwick. He was like, oh shit, well, magic is real yeah. after all, right? And, and then, of course, their way to figure out how to defeat a dragon is build a catapult. <laughs> yep. Just with shit science, lying about. With science. Know? And then, yeah. Because the dragon that can fly and breathe fire can't fight a catapult. Yeah. No. Of with, not. with men as bullets. No. Men, men, men bullets. Men Man bullets. <laughs> couldn't just sit there and open its mouth and eat Matthias when he flies in, you know? No. Yeah. And, of course, they need the slapstick. Oh, we missed. You hit a wall instead. Like, it slides like, wah, down wah. the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I, was la- like, I laughed, man. I was like, no, they got me. <laughs> 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 like, Drop whistles of pew. <laughs> just, just add that in. <laughs> but yeah. it, it does on the second try get onto the dragon's head. And then what happens here? Wow. I can't actually remember. They're shouting up to him, go for its eye. And oh, it goes, oh, it goes for his eye and then it's wires and he pulls yeah. it out and it turns out it's a robot dragon. Oh, a robot? How did I not fucking remember that? It's how could you science. how could you forget that? I know, like <laughs> surely, surely I was watching it going Nah. Uh, you were just like, nah. nah. This bit like, uh, I, I have no recollection of this memory. This is false memory. You're gaslighting me right now. <laughs> so, again, we get a scene and it's, you know, all, oh, it looks like magic. Oh, it looks like, you know, crazy beasts and things like that. And then it's like, no, nah, it's science. So, that was the kind of narrative through this film of like, hmm. smoking mirrors and the there, there is no smoke mirrors. machines and mirror. Machines? Mirror, mirror, mirror magic. <laughs> mirror, mirror balls. Mirror, uh, well, <laughs> mirror balls. <laughs> they get up to this like uh, mountain that kind of, kind of looks like a set for some reason. You know what I mean? Like um, mm. it looks ridiculous, and then they get into like this throne room. Ah, uh, they put the the key in a tree stump, obviously. Yeah, because that, aye, aye, all right. Um, and they get into this throne room, and they try to figure stuff out. But no, Hamish, what happens next? Another double cross. Oh. Another betrayal. Look, thought, like, this betrayal even, like, didn't. Yeah, this betrayal didn't feel earned. No, no, because no. I forgot that guy was in part of the team for a bit. <laughs> yeah. And then he had to use the old. Oh, what was it? Something like, oh, meet my friends. Oh, I think you've already met. And then opens the door, and it's like, oh god. <laughs> Alright, so the guy that betrayed them was the guy that she met in jail. Yeah, yeah. took them to get the Helped map, them, and then got them the other map and stuff. So but it was he like, knew he knew how to get a map to the place where he could. Ugh, it does all. That's, ah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but they had to get them a map to follow them. It's like could have just got a map yourself. It does feel like good. a well noticed um, a video game that. quest. Yeah, yeah. you know I mean, uh, so we get in there and there's crazy science man mm-hmm. figures out that it's all magnets. Yeah, so oh, fucking how magnets. Do, how how do, do they magnets work? work? How yeah. do they work? I, so, ICP would be all over this. <laughs> so the sorcerer didn't actually fly like everyone says that he did but it's like a metal suit and a magnet that repulses him up yeah and they have some fucking hilarious looking fight man. Oh. There's, there's a point where the bad guy uh, kind of like <laughs> flies towards him straight on and I'm just like why did what? they film it like that like, <laughs> this is awful <laughs> it's, it's like uh, you know how Matrix uh, the, the Matrix sequels and they're, they're doing like the f- fights in midair yeah mm. it's like if you you got a really lame version of that yeah. it just didn't work it, obviously yeah. CG and stuff and it was all wires mm. but then the, the guy that betrayed them opens up another door and it's like all gold and he jumps in and then all of a sudden two fucking things come in and squish him yeah. and there's just like blood and people are like oh Oh, open that and make sure he's okay. You're like, we just watched <laughs> him like, get squished. He's not okay. <laughs> yeah. he's super not okay. But then yeah. those two, they get like locked in as well, don't they, or something like that? Or, or I'm sure they get killed as well. Yeah. I think so, everyone's I, 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 At this point, I was like, I was actually kind of wishing it would end because I'm like, come on, there's been so many things happening. Yeah. yeah. And then there's think, no if, invisible scorpions. Hurry up. No. <laughs> uh, I wrote Puny God. Oh, like, like the Thor and um, like the Hulk and Loki. Yeah, but, the, yeah. that because uh, Matthias does that to yeah. the bad guy. He he like th- it was a pure hey hey look at this. This is the same type of yeah. deal. And I was like fucking hell man. Like that was that was one to one almost the same. Yeah, they went mm. on for on for a bit. Yeah, and then they figured to jump so through they, a window. Yeah, they, they, they do is uh, something to do with the riddle is like through me, find what you seek or whatever. Yeah, and there's like a stained glass window of the sorcerer yeah so Matthias just fucking jumps through he's smash, like fuck this falls down totally fine though when the other guy's getting a rope doing it you know the, the slower but smarter way but then Matthias finds a crown 
and he picks up the crown. Me, yeah, it's like a pretty uh, shitty looking crown. Aye, it looks yeah, fucking yeah. awful. Then. It reminded me of, uh, have you seen Masters Universe? Yes. Yes. Do you oh remember? my God. Yes. The, is that crown skeleton? Or it's like, it's the, what's the, 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 the queen? The queen in Masters. I can't yeah, remember but, her name. But her name, yeah, she wore a Sorceress? Crown. Yeah, yeah. She wore, She's got like a crystal crown. And right, me, okay. as soon as I saw it, my brain just went, whoa, this film that you used to watch in the yeah. 90s, this is what she was reminding you So she spent most of the movie like in a, a prison where she just stood still wearing this big ridiculous crown. Like got got older. Yeah, like uh, Skeletor was like, ha ha, we're destroying everything. And he, she's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was, that was a fucking film. I fucking love that film. We should do that film. <laughs> We should have done that film instead of this one. <laughs> it was the, the cheapest looking prop I've ever seen, I think. Like, it reminded me of it because it was like just white. Like, I suppose it was meant to be crystals or something like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm just okay, showing him as a picture of the saucer. Yeah, yeah. That, like, kind of like, like, that's what it reminded me of. Yeah. Well, it reminded me like of, you know, when you would go to like McDonald's or something like that and they'd have the straw dispensers. Yeah. Would, like, <laughs> like, with the wee, the wee dials on the bottom that you yeah, could turn. Them. Oh. So I had like separate things, but you could, uh, if you took the lid off of that, so there was just loads of straws sticking out of it. Yeah. That's, that's what it looked like to me. It actually looked worse than like the fake swords from the last movie. That's how bad yeah. it is. It was yeah. so I mean, the swords in this one looked pretty bad too. Yeah, but that, that special sword for the, the Scorpion King too. Yeah. That was the te- Sword of Damocles. Damocles, yeah. Damocles. I'm surprised you remembered that. But it's because it's in more than just Scorpion King. <laughs> I know. I'm surprised you, when you remember anything, mate. Uh, so yeah, he's, like, he puts on the crown and... He's holding the he's crown like, and then the, like, flames come up. Yeah, and he's not getting burnt by and, it. Yeah, he's, he's fine. He was like, oh, okay. Oh, and uh, Barry Boswick got stabbed as well. Oh, he's yeah, forgot. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. So he got stabbed, so he's upstairs dying. He's like, ah! <laughs> Magic! Yeah. <laughs> Bring oh, me magic! Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Which magic would I your size can cure me? <laughs> <laughs> That's something they died, man. He was getting so bored yeah. by that point. <laughs> and then, so the the bad guy manages to get the crown off of him, mm-hmm. puts it on, but then there's been like a a quote from the whole thing where you need to be just and a good king or something like yeah. that. Yeah, because it's all about honor. morality. It's supposed uh, to be having honour. You lack honour very... How uh, does science explain that? fucking well, thing then uh, like it's a very Klingon of them you have no honour if you don't have honour then you must perish yeah. I didn't I, did, I, like, I just looked at it and went oh he's he's, he's a demolition man and- <laughs> yeah, yeah right, so he put it on and because he wasn't an honourable man he, froze. he just froze from the feet up we keep mentioning much better films <laughs> <laughs> demolition man's fucking brilliant oh, yeah. we should have done demolition man <laughs> <laughs> you could just pick any other film and we should have done it here <laughs> Scorpion but, King 2 oh, uh, so yeah so three. Matthias smashes him because he's all frozen now goes yeah. up the stairs Barry Bostwick dies and then mm-hmm. they're like oh wait let's try this stick and on the seed put it on the head and he's fine he freezes to death too because he has no one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we forgot to mention there's like a bad weird thing she keeps mentioning where he should be king and never got why like yeah. oh because of the blood of this and I'm like you've never explained what that is yeah I think he's he like was... you should be king he's like it's in your name scorpion king right, right. <laughs> you're the scorpion king king of all scorpions because they want well she wanted did she not want her dad to be king yeah that's oh, no, what, no, that's sorry, what yeah, I mean, sorry, yeah, sorry she, she wanted the dad, dad to be yeah, king because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. um, he's got the blood of the scorpions not the blood of the yeah, uh, kings. Yeah, yeah. Blood, the blood of the the, the the venom of the kings of Scotland. Venom of the kings. Uh, blood venom. Yeah. Uh, Hail to the kings. This is just a, this is an AI podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they got enough of a bullshit now. They could just do a whole podcast of AI. <laughs> just us going venom, venom, Joker, so, Joker, six out of ten. <laughs> so they put the the crown on him, and then oh no, wait, magic does exist because he comes back to life. I because he even goes like that. See, you told you it works. Aye, like, but <laughs> what what like what a waste. I know that we've already seen magic and invisible scorpions and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't know, it just seems a bit silly to build up this whole, oh, everything can actually be explained by science, except magic. <laughs> well, this film was written by Mac from It's All Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh <laughs> <laughs> my god, all things can be explained, so we'll jot that down. <laughs> science is a liar sometimes. <laughs> uh, and then, even at the end as well, like the, there's a be happy ending... He becomes king, and then he's like, "All right, cool. My first uh, thing I'm going to do as king is daughter. You can be queen because yeah, like, she was for the people. She uh, was like, I, the people need a strong leader like me, but I don't want to do it because I don't think I'm that strong. Even though I fucking just destroyed like someone in the ring, and when I was escaping, I was like just dismantling guards and uh, choking them out, and and she's managed to go all this way wearing almost nothing. Yeah, yeah. 
Like all the, and like missing just arrows and stuff aye. like that, you know. Not a single scratch on her. Rolling mm. down hills. Because the camera made sure we saw all of her. Yeah. <laughs> every, yeah, every yeah. scene. Just like they sort of like, you know, like this digital zoom, like because there's in the background, just started focusing on her. And <laughs> yeah. Out of sight and just her. Just I know we're going, we're going back a wee bit now, but did you notice like in when he's and Matthias is in the jail cell next door and they pull that rock out the yeah. glory home rock in between them but then she goes to the other side she and she, the she's home. like uh, she's like bending over to talk to a guy and the camera just like zooms in yeah, on her actually, arse well, like, yeah that's right it, like, you literally see it tracking towards her it arse it was almost like the camera was controlled by my brain <laughs> <laughs> and yeah then, I like that <laughs> oh yeah oh no I've downloaded the wrong film <laughs> <laughs> or have you <laughs> yeah. do you know what I'm gonna I need to google that didn't I I need to google if there's a porn parody score Scorpion King. I mean, that's technically part of the franchise. Oh, yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. Scorp- the Scorpion's <laughs> thing. <laughs> Look, lads, I've only 25 minutes in. Every time I start it, I can only get 25 minutes in. <laughs> that's, that's definitely going to be one that Dom's pausing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'll come back when I'm feeling more uh, ready. ready again. <laughs> Sinead, this is for the podcast. <laughs> I know it's 2pm and I'm watching porn and loving them, but this is, this is research. <laughs> research, baby. Research. <laughs> Leave the lotion there. <laughs> don't look at me like that. <laughs> Leave the curtains closed. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbours don't need to see my shame. <laughs> so, oh, fuck uh, it hey, cut that bit though. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> well, not. No, no. <laughs> what would like? So, like, obviously, I had like a weird like. Oh well, no, because like Scorpion King gets the girl finally. Doesn't right? Ride off in a camel. He left the camel somewhere. Yeah, in like yeah. a place in the forest and stuff like that. You camels, know, like, like, camels. Oh, Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Why is it rain? What is this rain? <laughs> Get it away from me. But yeah, he gets the girl. This which is, is like a kind of, oh, okay. Yeah, there was kind of a wee happy ending. Yeah. Is this his fourth girl? Yeah, but he stays with this one. <laughs> was he not a king at the end of the third one as well? Like, he had a. No, he kind of rode away, well, didn't he? He was no, like. No, he, he kind of reclaimed that place, didn't he? And yeah. Batista and. Uh, the other lassie. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I can't remember the, any of the. Actors yeah, like, yeah, but like he was like king, and then I was like, at the start of this, I was like, oh, they're going to go back to that or mention it at all? No, no, no. He's he just he just bounces every time at the yeah. end of stuff. He's like, oh yeah, no, I'll stick about, I'll stick about. The next day, ghost. Where the fuck uh, did Matthias go? He's a ghost. And all that you actually get from it was basically like the the wee bad guy when they're friends, just saying, oh, that's been a year that we've been adventuring together, and I've been your apprentice and stuff like that. That's it. That's meant to fill you in on the entirety of what's happened between three and four. You know what I mean? You meant to just make up the rest yourself, I suppose. Like, man, I'm, I care a lot about Scorpion King lore. Mm, of course, yeah. Uh, I think what he's doing is he's just having, he's like getting them pregnant. He's just like bouncing. He's, uh, out, he's out of there. He doesn't know what to do. Any kind of like fathering. He's getting things. bored of like, I mean, in that wee village, there's only so many women. And, Nay scorpions. Yeah, exactly. Like, his, his people need them. I'm just waiting for like... Uh, well, I'll talk about this on the next podcast, but I want to see the new Ant Man. I'm just waiting for Matthias to like command scorpions. Like, although, <laughs> wait, oh, the spiders. You remember that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, so when the when the small people, short people, the little people. I can't remember what we call them. Uh, when the little people like they have them all tied up, and then they just let out like a whole bunch of spiders, mm. and they're all crawling them up, up him. And then he lets out a scream, and then they're all just like, "Oh, no, crawl off of him!" And it, oh then, no, wait, he's the scorpion king. Are we scorpions? I don't know. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, you can talk to the talk to the scorpion. Talk to the spiders. Uh, uh, don't say that. Talk to talk to the creatures or something like that. Yeah. Some fucking bullshit, anyway. Yeah. And then that's never spoken about again nah, yeah. it's, just, it's just a power mate he's, yeah. a, he's a Jedi he's a scorpion Jedi uh, a bug Jedi ridiculous it, they reminded me of like really small versions of the starship triple bugs yeah because yeah. they were just like bright yeah. colours they were just yeah. bright colours yeah, yeah. Remember, like like the because they were like yellow and green see when we were in Japan and I was terrified of the spiders in Japan because like every, every time you go through the like, Tory gates up the hill you look in the middle and there's like a spider's made a massive web and it's a big green and yellow spider and I'm like, I'm going to walk in face first to yeah. one of these spiders. So, you know, I'm, I'm away. I'm gonna, I need fire. I'll be honest, see when you <laughs> see when you said that there, when I was talking about the little people and you were like, oh, they reminded me of the wee bugs and <laughs> stuff. <Starship laughs> I was just taken aback. I was like, wait, is that really fucking offensive? Like, <laughs> I, know, like, I was looking is, at you and I was like, really he, going this way? <laughs> he's reacting weird to me. <laughs> like, I don't know what he's, he's like. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait. No, uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> took me a wee second to click there, yeah. Uh, so what did you think, uh, Hugh? What, did you, what would you rate this? 
this is my favourite one. Oh, so I far. Think, yeah, so I, far. I agree with that, definitely. Mostly because it doesn't try to be anything else other than a fucking comedy action film. Yeah. That and the, the main actors got a lot better. Mm. Like, I can actually, like, see him. And the fact that they, like, the Scorpion King, like, overriding brand thing hardly comes into it whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. And I like to see what new... Uh, they jobbing actors they can get to come <laughs> in for a paycheck like Lou Ferrigno was there for like 10, 10 seconds uh, yeah. Hoist Gracie was the worst actor I've ever seen yeah. like Roy Nelson looks not like he shouldn't even be there uh, <laughs> but that's a group of people that don't look anything like each other uh, like they're just they like, don't fit the aesthetic of the film or look anything like each other so oh do you know who the, the main actress reminded me of That uh, even that character and what she was wearing do you remember the Power Rangers movie for the 90s mm-hmm. I don't think I saw it like in the film they go to a diff- different planet. Yeah. And like, I was only about eight when that film came out and this like, woman comes out of nowhere yeah, and she's she- wearing like hardly anything and I saw my dad like kind of sit up in his seat like, yeah, <laughs> this film has been awful right up to this moment for him and he's just like, oh, something for the dads, eh? Like, <laughs> like some, some for him to sit, like, sit through and I was just like, looking at her and I was like, the same kind of outfit, the blonde hair and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, something for the dads, boys. Something for the dad boys. <laughs> but you but, did have nice abs though. Hamish was uh, like they were impressive. Them, right? I know we got messages like her abs, by the way. They were impressive. Just you know, when, see when you have like a good physique, like you know, her or I do. Yeah, yeah. You, well, you you're looking at six pack, obviously. Mate. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of, of you. <laughs> <laughs> Only six. That's not going to be enough. That's like maybe do me one podcast. <laughs> um, did you did you rate the movie quite high? And then like, did you prefer over the last one? Because I know we were quite. Like positive about the last one, the, the Scorpion King three. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I still do think that they're getting better. Mm-hmm. I definitely think it was better than three, and much better than the second one. Mm-hmm. Um, but as Hugh was saying, like the whole Scorpion King name, like it peppers it in a wee bit now and again. But what the movie to me felt like was, see if you'd removed that and just changed some things in it, mm-hmm. and then got like. Not A list actors, but better actors. It would be something like, have you ever seen Your Highness? Yeah. Uh, yeah something yeah. like that, you know, like, you know, basically action comedy with a bit of adult humour. Slapstick, slapstick. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And if it was like a higher calibre of actor, I don't, I'm not saying it would have been like a smash hit, but I, I think it could have done well in like a yeah. cinema and stuff like that. Like, it was. Closer to a film, yeah. Like it, was, <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. Like, it was better written than the last two. Yeah. Do you think if I had Three. a bigger budget, it'd be you know what again with the CG really suffered from it? If I had a bigger budget, the CG looked a wee bit better. It would still be a bit. The sets done, man, and and like the the uh, what do they call it? The outfits and stuff like that. They're just yeah, the, co- like, the costumes. The costumes. The, the costumes. Yeah. Fucking hell! I don't know. The <laughs> uh, like they all kind of like distracted me at a certain point so I was like what the fuck why is that guy wearing like a plastic centurion helmet <laughs> yeah it does kind of take you out of it so I suppose yeah a bigger budget if they spent it the right way might help this yeah. reminds me of like BBC short series TV movies and yeah, yeah, series yeah. And like, like, like yeah. six episodes of 20 minutes mm. and you could have a really good fun show yeah because like there was parts of this I was like this does not need to be in a film like that bit with the the, the little people at the end like that like that could just be cut out of the film and the film would not no one would miss it and yeah, yeah it would you, wouldn't, continue you wouldn't lose anything yeah uh, the MacGuffin stuff still the MacGuffin can it, the whole Scorpion King thing yeah but that bad guy could have been better if they took see if they made him less comedic and made him just a dark wee like uh, nasty <clears> guy yeah, yeah. That would have been fun. Yeah. Because he, he, that actor himself plays a really good kind of nasty little dweeb. Yeah, but he was also like charismatic, so I, I think he played the... Yeah, he told the line quite well, I think, yeah. of like arsehole slash comedic but, timing and comedic, comedic, comedic? Comedic? Comedic. Uh, Com- comic. <laughs> I meant to say comedic. Comic dick. <laughs> comic <laughs> dick. <laughs> comedy. Um, but yeah, that is a, you know, it, I, I thought the balance was quite well for him yeah, um, yeah. but I, I can understand he can be to the point where it was annoying and that you don't want that in a villain you'd want them to be you know a villain not someone oh just go away it's a very very hard line to kind of to stay on mm-hmm. and not go too far one way or the other like but I think he did well and he was he was charismatic arrogant 
but not to the point of like he's really doing my fucking head in kind of like an endearing yeah. arrogance you know what I mean but also had a mean streak in him like a proper actual kind of that nah, he can be ruthless if he wants to so yeah just stabbing slapping kids yeah. and women <laughs> setting fire kick- to like scientist places I think he kicked an old man in the face at one point yeah. and I busted laughing he threw Seth Rogen <laughs> uh, Seth Rogen child love child into the wall just to be like yeah yeah, <laughs> he was just oh, that wow, was yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was glad he died. That was that made my mood day. I was like, and it looked it. like he suffered as well because he was alive watching him walk by when he was impaled on the wall. Yeah, so that, it was that funny. Was, that was good. So, <laughs> will they ratings again? Yeah, okay. Out of ten, Hamish, you first. Right, you see, the problem is I can't remember how I rated the other one. <laughs> I think he said seven out of ten. Six out of ten. I, I, I don't think I would have went to seven. Like, <laughs> okay, okay. I, I think I think it was six out of ten. So because I can't put this one up too high because it's still not an amazing movie. Would you watch it again? I mean, yeah, maybe through like, choice. If someone else was watching, ah, it, right, like, okay. and or if like, yeah, if if someone else is stupid enough to go, like, I want to watch all the Scorpion King movies. Then you know, I would not. Dread this one coming up. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably the nicest way I can put it. We kind of just walked into this because we're like, the first Scorpion King film's a bit ridiculous in it. We'll watch that. No, ah, maybe we'll watch the others. What a terrible idea! Didn't know what the fuck we were, we were <laughs> getting into. Demolition Man. <laughs> you know uh, these movies, Tom. Like, I, I, I know I, Hamish I, hasn't I, given a rating yet. Actually, six point five seven. Because nah. I can't go any higher than that. I uh, yeah yeah. I need I, to keep a bit of breathing room if the next one's better. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd say I would say probably yeah. Uh, Six seven again. I would say it's like I did really enjoy the for, last one though for that kind of movie. Yeah, yeah. I didn't make that clear. Like, no, no, you know, not like you know. It's like you know, it's bang bang average. It's not. I was gonna get a worst. five. Uh, yeah. I, was gonna say, I was gonna get a five because yeah. it's not. It's not like insultingly bad. Yeah, it's yeah. shot. I think it's shot well. Uh, the only things that lack for that is really the CG. Yeah, like that really just takes out of it, and the f- they look like they were having fun this time. And yeah. they say, like you know, all the actors were like, it was way more. I know we've been talking about it a lot, Johnny. It was way more Hercules Xena than it mm. was fucking try to be it, like the mummy. Yeah, uh, which yeah. is we were like, oh, it should lean into that more, and it did. And it it did yeah, and yeah. I think it did like, for its benefit. Like it did, and. Um, it's still not like you know an absolutely amazing <laughs> movie you need to go out and see. <laughs> yeah. But if you're. Um, yeah, it's, it's I just passable. love the fact that we're like, no, we, we liked it. Now, like, I would never watch it again. Yeah, yeah. And I would not. I would never recommend it to anyone. Yeah, ever. yeah, but it's passable. It's yeah, passable. I, I'm just. I'm worried that I'm gonna say that it's like a six or a seven, and people are just from now on gonna be like, well, we can't trust trust his opinion. Whatsoever, <laughs> yeah. whatever, yeah. But in my defence, like five of those points are just for her abs, and then you know, <laughs> the bleaks. <laughs> <laughs> If I was watching this film without doing this, say it was on like a movie channel, I'd have turned it over. Mm. I don't think I would have. Because of her abs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there was enough wee funny bits throughout it that where I was going to be reaching for the controller, it would have just been like, oh, maybe this can get better. Like, you know. But the dragon would have turned, that would have been like, nah, no, he was this. reaching for something else. With, <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the lotion. <laughs> <laughs> the pause button. <laughs> So, did you? What did you say? I, I would say six, six, six. I say six, seven. I, I'm, I'm on the same boat with you for it. Like it's Pick for one these number. Sixty-seven. There you go. Six point five. <laughs> I'd say like yeah. Would you average. actually? Uh, sorry, Dom. We need to actually uh, put these in a like a wee graph or something like that to to see if they go up or down. I think yeah. I think they've been going up. I think like, they're getting better. I think they are. Yeah. Um, and I think it's more that they they've decided to lean more towards the the funniest and have a laugh rather than try to be super serious when you've got no budget. You can't be a serious. I can't think you could be a serious movie about a, a Scorpion King that you know. Yeah. It's like magic has definitely existed in this universe to then be like no science and then back to magic. Yeah. It's, well, it's bizarre. It's a. Uh, but yeah, I would say like you know if you. You want if you like out of all these movies, yeah, this has been the the better one, and I'm hoping I'm hoping in the last one. I've seen a trailer for that one. <sighs> mm, I don't like, know. I think they're trying to be a bit serious for this, and I'm like, oh no. Right, Please so don't. I think they change all the actors. <sighs> so, uh, so this this was the only one that so, someone reprises the role. Yeah, it? again, I think I said that yeah, I was like yeah. maybe this. I think uh, there is one movie after it that is. Well, what reprisals? It's but then called that's it. Book of Souls. Book of Souls. Um, <laughs> it was released in 2018. It was directed yeah. by Don Michael Paul. Do you want to know what IMDb gave this film? Yeah, before? Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah 4.1. Oof. Fair enough. 
Like, they're like, I can't even argue with that. Yeah, like, I can see that. For the type of movie that it is, like, you can completely understand. But, I mean, like, compared to the other ones, it must be a lot better. I mean... Mate, Zach McGowan is Matthias in the next one. Oh, uh, mate, he was, um, he was in Black Sails. Was he? Yeah. Mm. He, 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 he looks like a lion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Peter Mensah as well. He played the guy that got kicked into the pit in 300. Oh, this is madness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm looking at the list of names here and I'm not really recognising it. Nathan Jones is in that film. You know, the yeah. shite Australian wrestler? Yeah. He plays... I'm Nathan Jones. He plays in Kiddo. <laughs> He's a tall uh, fucker, though. I can remember. I can remember his one wrestling match where he uh, he hit somebody and he gave them a concussion. That was the only move that he had to do, and he concussed somebody. He hit them. Like, <laughs> <really> <laughs> skills, Zero. man. That's skills. Yeah. Can you believe that we're we're almost at the end of these? Yeah, so I'm about believe's to believe's the wrong word. I am fucking happy. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got one more today. Scorpion King, Book of Souls. And then we can put this to to bed unless they make another one. Yeah, yeah. They're, make, they're making another one, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, is that is, uh, Mr. Dwayne The Rock Johnson not a part of it? Yeah, he's he's going to make another one. He yeah. said he, he wants to, like, uh, reboot the franchise. Because he's like, oh, Black Adam didn't do well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, people don't like me anymore? <laughs> What's going on? XFL? <laughs> <laughs> is that still a thing? Yeah, no, we, 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 are, that. we are going off in all different directions yeah. because there's not a lot talk about it. Oh, no, but that's us. Uh, I'd say, like, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to this next and final one. Hopefully it goes off in a in a high. Yeah. Or a, I'm, I'm partly looking forward to it because I do think that they get better over time and also just because then it'll be done. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need to do these fucking... <laughs> Watch we can watch shit. we can watch things we enjoy yeah. yeah yeah but when it comes to things to put yourself through for the sakes of just either taking it apart or like trying to find the positives in it then oh, sometimes it can be a struggle like Scorpion King 2 I still think I'm like oh fuck yeah Oof. that was a hard film to watch mm. that was a really hard film to watch I don't think I would ever want to even Go pretend, back to, that, yeah. pretend to watch that again mm. but do we have any other any other uh, business on the docket boys in our be- business I don't believe so just yeah. you know letting everyone know look out for scorpions yeah you, especially you should, under your t-shirt yeah you should feel them generally speaking yeah but and if you yeah. and if you know the scorpions are crawling over your body just make sure you open up your shirt like the Hulk like the Hulk show like, ah, yeah. show and dominance the scorpions might forgive you if you show a lot of dominance I don't even try and like you know swipe them off of your body or anything no. like that. just just kind of scream a wee bit yeah. scream and yeah. fall onto them yeah, <laughs> yeah. that'll that show them and that'll show them if you're in a, ever in a fight and there's a bear skin rug pick mm. the bear yeah. skin up yeah. and scare the guy with it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you ever if you ever see any like little people just burp at them because yeah. that's apparently a good thing yeah the one joke I really liked with that is that there was like one big guy and he was like oh that must be the leader and like hello yeah, hello like talking to my him. name's Matthias and he's like the, another wee tiny guy comes around and he's like why are you talking to my my wee brother <laughs> <laughs> oh that's that's just the story of your life isn't it <laughs> <laughs> that is it fucking is the story of notice he's bounced on this one no, oh. he's, he's not watched this one with us oh well, uh, yeah we'll call him out like, maybe I'll watch the last one and be like here by the way there was no um, what, what, what was his name Billy Zane what, oh. was Billy? But, like, he was like I love Billy Zane he's secretly a big Billy Zane fan yeah, oh yeah Billy Zane didn't come back that, I thought what? that was going to be a thing because he died Look, he it? died didn't he they, well they left it kind of ambiguous you never saw it but yeah like, okay. maybe, maybe they did it on purpose in case they did and then he was like yeah I'm not fucking doing that again. <laughs> you, you have got, my coke budgets went up <laughs> <laughs> but guys I want to be more flamboyant than the next one <laughs> right so next week we're uh, back to a normal podcast as normal as this one gets so it's a goodbye yeah. for Dom bye everybody and bye from Hamish bye everyone oh, fucking keep me that short and sweet I like this I like this new Hamish thanks for listening everyone. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely fucking done now aren't I? <laughs> so bye from here bye everyone bye bye Bye. 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 I'm getting the last word. Bye. Bye. Dom's editing. He'll be <laughs> 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 Dom's in bye. 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 Bye.